Um, so yeah, today's video is gonna be a wig haul. you are wearing a wig the standard thing to do would be to plait your hair going back right um, seeing as I'm not gonna be wearing a wig for the remainder of this week um, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna try and brush it well it's pretty flat because I've had it in one today so I'm just gonna bung it underneath a hair or oh, stocking cap one of these now some people use brown um, <laughs> God, where's my hair? I'm just gonna be using this standard black. Um, I might have a little bulk at the back, but if we was doing this properly, we would plait our hair up. So that's as flat as it's gonna get at the moment. All right. <laughs> And this is a good song actually for how I feel today. And what? I'm feeling good. Oh yes, I have. <laughs> um anyway. Uh right, so some of them I probably will have to brush out and, you know, maybe spray a little because they've been away for a while. And normally if I was going to wear this out, I would totally condition, um, give it a good uh, wash through so it smells nice <laughs> and do a bit. So um, the first wig we've got today is this red number this uh, red riding hood curly number. So we're gonna try that. Now I know R. Kelly's meant to be canceled. I'm just gonna let this one roll in it. Like, I like this song. I said what I said. Don't at me. What do we do? Right. <laughs> um, all right, so with a wig like this, um, this has a comb at the front and it has a comb at the back. So what I would normally do is I would normally like um, do a cane row here at the front so it's got something to grip in and then just cane row my hair straight back. So yeah, this one, and my headline's quite high up. Um, so again, this hasn't really got anything to stick into, but we still will make it work. <laughs> Uh, so we just need to sort it out and this is how this one would look hey I'm a redhead and although it is synthetic um, it is it's quite curly and these are one of the wigs that when you wash it um, you know the waves do come back um, so the best way I look after these is I don't put too much grease, but I do shampoo um, slightly um, and then I tend to let it sit in some conditioner just to soften it up um, With these you wouldn't really use like a brush you'd more use your hand to detangle um, and you can Do your fringe um, if you wanted a full fringe you could do it a full fringe way um, If you wanted a fringe to this side you can do that. Um, so it's quite versatile for the bangs. Um, I don't usually wear a fringe, not a full front frontal fringe. <laughs> I would usually sweep it to this side and leave it like that. But yeah, I, I quite like this wig. I think I have this maybe in two other colours. So I think I've got like a brownie blonde um, and a different colour. So again, you could wear it to different sides. 
And wear it this way. Um, you can kind of like do half up and half down. Um, you know, just put a little clip in there. Um, so again, this one is quite versatile. I like, I like the red. Now, um, with a lot of these synthetic, obviously you can't use heat in it um, because heat will just melt it and you don't want a melted wig. Brush this one out. Um, <laughs> this is crazy how wigs make you look so different. I actually think like this one was like this actually, yeah. This, I would probably just put like a light layer of moisturising oil just to make all those wispy bits um, sit down properly and not be <laughs> so wispy and all over the gaff. But bring it around to the sides, wear it out. Oh. I quite like this one too. Like I said, it's all good. So yeah, that's that. And this is a tune. This is actually um, a guy called Peter Manos. And this tune is called You Don't Know Me. This is a banger still. This is a wig called Get It Together Love. This has a bang, I'm not really used to wearing bangs. So I've probably worn this maybe once or twice. This was about 30 pounds. This is a wig from Sleek. So, I hate full fringes. I don't like feeling hair in my, in my eyes. So this one, this one has quite a few clips. It's got uh, two at the sides, one at the back. Um, so they're meant to kind of just like, Clipping. Um, so again, like with all wigs, you just gotta brush it out, position it how you know you want it positioned. Um, God, who's that girl? La 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 la. Um. <laughs> uh, so you see what I mean about fringes. This uh, is the I got bangs look. And there's not really much you can do with this. I mean, you can put it back in one, put it to the side again, but it's not that versatile in how you can style it. And again, this one, I think, you may be able to use a really low heat, um, but I don't think you can use full blown heat. So um, again, maybe like after you've washed it, get in a hair dryer and just going, going through it with a brush. Um, and that sometimes works as well. So yeah, the sleek bang lock. Um, <laughs> This one, I think, I got on sale. Yes, I bought a wig on sale. And it probably cost me about seven pounds, 10 pounds, something stupid. But I don't actually think I've worn this one before, to be fair. No, I haven't. It still smells brand new, no product in it or anything. So let's see what this one is then. That's why I don't like fringes because the hair gets in my eyes and I don't even think this is one that you can swoop over. So with this, I would probably want to give this a conditioner because it's really wavy, but it also needs a condition. Um, so I'm just playing around to see. 
Yeah, this is a fringe. <clears throat> All right, so, okay. Yeah, this is a fringe. I really like the colour um, and it is actually quite soft but like I said it needs a condition, a detangle, um, see like little bits like here um, and this again I don't think you would be able to put heat in this particular wig um, and it's quite thin, um, like it's not thick and that's another thing I don't like a lot of hair on my head especially if I'm like wearing it to go out. Um, it's not really my thing. So, okay. Hmm. And that is what it would look like from the back. <laughs> and so that is that one. This was a wig that I got um, New Year's actually. New Year's 2000 and seven I believe and this is actually a lace front which um, again I'm not I'm not a big fan of lace fronts so you know obviously when I put this on you're not gonna get the full idea of what it's gonna look like but we'll try anyway um, yeah I don't I'm, I really don't like lace fronts I mean some of them look okay but sometimes they don't always look okay. And this one's gonna look really crazy because I've got no part, I've got no edges, I've got no baby hairs. Uh, so we'll just stand real far from the camera. Um, and this is kind of like that loosey wave look. Um, and I never really have middle part in either. Like it's either I like my hair all over to one side or, you know, I would probably prefer, just making this into a hot mess in that. Um, I would prefer something a bit different. I mean, I know that looks absolutely crap, but you get the gist, right? I'd rather something like this. Mm. It's not so big. <laughs> All right, so, fuck it. Um, I just can't remember how that went. So, yeah. <laughs> that would be that. From far, it doesn't look bad. It's when you get up close and you're like, girl, look at your five head. I should four heads so big. But just remember, like I said, I, I've not got no part in and, you know, it's not, it's not laid and, so you just have to picture it, okay? Think outside the box. <laughs> That's a nice quick video for you. Alright, so that was my quick wig haul, if you want to call it that. Um, you saw a couple different wigs and how they look and how they change the way you look. Um, and just cheap alternatives to wanting something different even if it's for a few days you know you don't have to wear it for like weeks on end until it's literally falling apart from the base but you know if you want to change for a night out then it's an easy cheap uh, go-to solution so guys this is the Arena Vibes um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video um, you know thank you for watching as always uh, don't forget to like subscribe turn on your notifications yeah subscribe go on press that button good all right so yeah turn on your notifications leave a comment below let me know what you think and for now love kisses to all y'all love and light blessings and uh, all that good stuff and i shall see you next time